Assalamualaikum and greetings everyone. Alhamdulillah, we had completed the January 2020 Architecture Design Studio 6, third year Bachelor of Science in Architecture in Utah. Some of the students' work are exceptionally well executed and in this video, we're going to look at one of it. The Kampong Baru Urban Planning and Exhibition Center. It's an information center to showcase the past and presence of Kampong Baru taking a cue from its food and Malay culture. Uh, it is a work of uh, Chiu Hongzheng. Uh, his project is located at Site 2 in Kampung Baru along Jalan Raja Muda Musa and Jalan Hasan Saleh. Inspired by the serambi of a Malay traditional house, Chiu tried to translate this idea into the new information and exhibition center as a transition point between KLCC via the new Saloma Ling Bridge and the food streets in Kampung Baru, besides responding to all the other side forces. Let us listen to his presentation. Good morning to all the external panelists. My name is Chiu Hongzhen. This is a project that I have done by me. It's an urban planning exhibition center. So without hesitating, let's get started. Project that I'm doing is located at site 2 where these are all the side forces that need to be addressed accordingly. First off, the distinctive character of Kampong Baru is actually its food and culture. People from KL city centre often come to Kampong Baru just to taste the nasi lemak and enjoy the food at the night market. Site 2 serves as a transition space located in between KL city centre and the food street. The main design idea originates from the identity of the site itself which is a transition point in between two areas. The design attempts to provide supporting spaces linking both areas act as a catalyst to both circulation, interaction and connection. Design starts off by responding to the off-scale high-rise building around the site, continuing the cascading form from legacy and PKNS flat and forming an axis in between existing and future high-rises. Second axis connecting the existing void to the huge Malayan banyan tree. The retention pond is no longer functioning and therefore converted to a small park connecting the pedestrian from LRT station and Salama Ling through the internal street to the food street, at the same time avoiding traffic at the Y Junction Road. The atmosphere of the internal street is further enhanced by bringing back the identity of the site as a swampy area with water feature and planted box tree. Link bridges is formed to link both blocks in different levels. Open spaces are formed to allow pedestrians to enjoy the space under the huge tree. The space near to the food street are further developed with public seating as the site is very congested and lack of leisure scape. To have view towards future heritage park, viewing decks are also formed. Each roof is designed to respond to existing culture and finally adding in the structure and fenestrations of the building. The design intention of this building is to act as an information center for locals and visitors, presenting the past and future of Kampung Baru. Secondly, to facilitate interaction between authorities and locals to provide spaces to preserve and promote Malay cultural heritage. The design concept of the building is Serambi, 
Serambi is the distinctive spatial characteristic of Malay traditional houses, reflecting the proper communication between occupants and the environment. It is the cultural value perceived in space arrangement design concept in showing respect in receiving guests. Serambi the space that connects the interior of Malay houses to the exterior where in the sense that it is a visual transition space between in and out, Serambi as a concept is to capture the visual continuity and apply into the building, enhance connectivity, facilitate interaction between the authorities and locals to push forward the prolonged development of Kampung Baru due to the shared ownership of the land. In translation to spatial qualities, doubles of triple volumes of solids and voids are used to inject more visual continuity, open decks, terraces, airwell courtyards and open staircases are designed to further enhance continuity in spatial experiences with, with plenty of visibilities and permeability. The program of this building, the main spaces are exhibition spaces, galleries and offices. It includes spaces to exhibit ongoing development and urban planning projects, a heritage preservation office to kickstart the preservation of Malay traditional houses in future to replace into the heritage park. Next, the sub spaces are youth learning center, tourist information counter, library and conference spaces. Chen is showing the features at the internal street, including green screens, planter box, water features, rainwater harvesting and water filtration system. The building is ventilated by stack ventilation and the facade is with openable roof doors for natural ventilation. Next, these are the details drawings. One of the interesting details is the water feature with plastic stonework supporting pedestal to create calm water surface. Finally, this is the overall presentation box. Thank you for listening. I am very impressed with the level of resolution that he managed to come up with to address the issues surrounding the site, especially the way he dissected the site and putting in place the spaces responding to the different forces around the site. The final form is also blended well with the surrounding context and very appropriate for Kampung Baru. I can even see that this building being built in the future. If one thing I can point out probably that he should have considered using timber construction rather than concrete with timber cladding. Uh, it was also pointed out by other panelists during the online creed. And I would like to suggest the water features to be a bit more organic to contrast with the formality of the building blocks. Overall, I think the project is well executed. Congratulations to Chiu Hongzhen. I wish him all the best. Hopefully, 10 years from now, he can look back at this moment as a turning point uh, to his successful career in architecture. As usual, if you have any comments, a different opinion maybe, Please leave your comments below and let's create a lively and positive exchange for the benefits of architecture education. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.